Welcome to Spidel's California Minute. I'm your host, Catherine Sedan, and this week we're discussing the tax outcome of one spouse living and working outside of California while the other spouse is still in this state. We cover this and other California tax issues in Spidel's California Tax Letter. You can see the benefits included with this monthly subscription and download a sample issue at caltax.com under the Publications tab. With a number of large companies moving out of California, more practitioners are seeing situations where one spouse is working outside of California, but the other spouse is still in California. And in many situations, the spouse outside of California is in a no-income tax state like Texas. While your clients may think this means all of those wages escape California tax, it doesn't, and we're going to talk about why. California, like numerous other states, is a community property state. Income generated from community property is community income, meaning each spouse is treated as owning half of the other spouse's income. Unless a valid separate property agreement is in effect, community income also includes compensation for services if the spouse earning the compensation is domiciled in another community property state. An interesting problem can develop for couples when one spouse is domiciled in California and the other spouse is a resident of and domiciled in another state. Whether an individual's income is subject to community property law is based on the individual's domicile. Three issues arise in this situation. What filing status should the taxpayers use? What income is subject to California tax? And which tax rate is applied? Under California law, married taxpayers who file a joint federal return also have to file a joint California return unless one spouse is a California non-resident and has no California source income. There's also another exception for military spouses, but that's beyond the scope of this discussion. Many taxpayers automatically assume if spouses work and live in two different states, the non-resident spouse only has income from the state they're working and living in. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. In this situation, the California spouse has generated community income, and half of this California source income is considered to be the non-resident spouse's income. If the couple files a federal joint return, the couple also has to file a California non-resident joint return because the non-resident spouse would have California source income. When one spouse is domiciled in California and the other spouse has established a domicile in another community property state like Texas, they will also be surprised to learn that not only are all of the California wages taxed to California because they're earned there, but one half of the Texas wages belong to the California spouse under community property rules, so they're taxed to California as well. Unless, of course, the couple has a separate property agreement listing their wages as separate property. For example, assume that Joseph and Jody are married, but Jody moves to Texas where her company relocates its corporate offices. Joseph works and lives in California. He is a resident of and domiciled in California. Jody lives and works in Texas. She is a resident of and domiciled in Texas. California is a community property state, so Joseph's wages are community income, and unless they have a separate property agreement, 50% of Joseph's California wages are California source income taxable to Jody. Texas is also a community property state, so Jody's wages are community income, and 50% are taxable to Joseph, who is a California resident. This means on the California non-resident return, 100% of Joseph's wages would be subject to tax, and 50% of Jody's wages would also be subject to California tax. We'll be covering California-specific tax issues that arose over the last year at Spidel's upcoming Critical California Tax Issues webinar, live on August 31st. You can see a full list of topics covered and get signed up for the live or on-demand version at caltax.com under the Webinars tab. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another installment of Spidel's California Minute.